rather than easing. Experts say the situation is getting worse. What they're seeing right now is a combination of two years of continued breakdowns, bottlenecks caused by the Russian and Ukrainian crises, a new round of lockdowns in China, and record congestion at U.S. ports. This was supposed to be an easy disruption. Although the worst-case scenario is that the global supply chain nightmare will last until 2023. Many things can go wrong before then, so we should all start preparing for the worst before moving on to today's discussion and exposing the dire state of global supply chains. If you enjoy our videos, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Now as a result of these shortages, we've seen price rises on everything from homes to appliances to cars to even food essentials rise during the previous 24 months. Despite the promises of global leaders like Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell, who said supply chain disruptions and inflation would be temporary, the glitches in the system are becoming more frequent and those same leaders are now scrambling to add to the supply of oil and wheat on global markets. Major manufacturing slowdown and critical shortage of willing truck drivers to move goods from factories to warehouses to ports in Shanghai where residents have been struggling to get food supplies delivered, which has resulted in intense panic buying waves in recent weeks because authorities have ordered truck drivers to get tested before being allowed to enter the city, which is why many drivers are avoiding Shanghai altogether. Unprecedented amounts of cargo are currently stranded in Chinese ports due to the fact that companies and warehouses are unable or unable to remove their products from storage and load them onto a ship since there is insufficient cargo available for shipping. Data from Four Kites, a Chicago-based company that follows supply chain data, shows that the volume of products carried by sea out of Shanghai has declined 26% in the last three weeks, while the volume of goods leaving the port by truck has dropped by 19%. As one logistics expert explained to the Lodestar, after the factories reopen and the supply of goods increases, the price of shipping will rise once more as a result of a shortage of containers in China's ports to accommodate the surge in demand causing havoc in a supply system that had just begun to recover from last year's disruptions. He said that many of the things we use around the world are manufactured with components from China, and we're about to see a logistic snarl that will dwarf anything in 2020 or 2021. Europe is facing a huge battle on its borders. The United States is raising interest rates, and China's economy is slowing down significantly. Martin remained on top of the latest outbreak of infections. UNK Knutson, managing director of China Tall Group, sees a wide range of factors at play, including a lack of new container capacity coming into the market, which will prolong disruption and keep shipping rates at record highs if there is a port labor strike in the US West Coast and a lack of new container capacity coming into the market. While the disruptions are expected to last for the next year, Knutson predicted that they could last until 2023 if they are not optimistic. In his view, the situation hasn't changed fundamentally, and some of the underlying factors such as a lack of truck drivers, a lack of chassis, and low productivity haven't changed at all, he said, arguing that customers are going to continue to rely on a supply chain that's broken. Joe Torino, who heads Bain & Co's global supply chain practice, says that before the Ukraine crisis broke out, we were looking at 2023 for things to get back to normal. Now, he says, it's hard to say when it could end since we don't know how long it'll go or how far reaching it could become. Given the current supply chain challenges, he said, some of the weak connections have been relocated from the West Coast to the East Coast because of this. A lack of on-time performance and constant shifts in vessel schedules is causing a slew of problems for the transatlantic trade, which is threatening the US East Coast's reputation as a congestion hotspot, according to Anita's chief analyst Peter Sand. No one predicted Ukraine's explanation for the semiconductor shortage by now. The chip shortage is affecting nearly every industry in America. And this could lead to a long-term manufacturing crisis if the situation is not resolved quickly. As shortages intensify, our inflation problem will become far more severe for ordinary Americans, meaning that their standard of living will continue to decline. 
If this inflationary spiral continues, we'll end up with an all-out catastrophe on our hands. Thank you for watching this video, and we look forward to your comments down below this one.